Tonight, we're hearing from the mom of a 13-year-old girl at the center of a racist bullying incident. It happened late last month on a Lavaca Middle School bus. Five News reporter Michael Wilson joins us with the details. Yeah, I spoke with the Lavaca police chief over the phone on Friday. He says now that the school district completed their investigation, they can begin theirs, which includes interviewing students. He says the students involved in the bullying could face harassment charges, but that's all dependent on the prosecuting attorney. It's terrible and so hurtful. That's video from February 22nd. You can hear students laughing and chanting Rosa Parks and BLM to 13-year-old Alyssa Shaw, nicknamed Smiley. This was malicious. It's horrible. I mean, I just bawled when I saw that video. I just could not believe it. It's so hurtful. But Becky says this isn't the first time her daughter's been bullied because of race. A similar situation happened back in October. Becky requested the school to take action. You allowed this to happen again. You're supposed to be protecting my child. And this is now twice. Lavaca schools gave me this statement reading in part. Lavaca school district officials opened an investigation in the incident and after concluding the investigation, determined that violations of the school district's bullying policy occurred, but couldn't give specifics on disciplinary actions because the students are minors. Make, set an example. This is not tolerable. You know, it's, this is not something that we are going to tolerate. Becky calling Alyssa strong for how she handled the incident. She said they want me gone and I do not want to give them that satisfaction to think they have ran me off. Choosing to finish third quarter at Lavaca before transferring to the Fort Smith District. And since this video was posted online, a threat was issued against the school, prompting police to step up patrols last week. Something Alyssa and mom Becky are discouraged to see happen. I don't want it to be violent. Uh, that was never the intent of speaking out. The intent was to bring awareness that there's a problem. Now, the mom, Becky, says she hopes the principal will take action on this situation to prevent it from happening again. Back to you.